Oh, hi there. Welcome to Super Skarmory's Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time walkthrough. Wait, 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 what? A Zelda game? What? Where did this come from? Uh, okay, never mind. A uh, couple of updates for anybody out there who cares. Um, two major things that need to be pointed out about this walkthrough. Uh, one, this is the first 3DS game I've ever covered. Um, no, this walkthrough is not in 3D. I don't even think that's possible to record, even with a 3D camcorder, because the way the 3DS is is just really weird. Um, so this walkthrough isn't in 3D. Um, I, for one, hate the concept of 3D. I think it's just a silly gimmick. Blah, 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 blah. Um, with that said, um, I think the 3DS games look incredible without 3D. And speaking of 3D, uh, I needed a widescreen camcorder, so we have, I have actually a new camcorder, and I've been itching to use this for about two, three months now, and you have to bear with me, because this is uh, a new camcorder, I'm not used to it. Um, you probably already have noticed that I sound different compared to my other walkthroughs. Um, it's basically been four years since I've had to learn how to use a new camcorder. So, it's going to take a while. There's going to be some problems in the early going of this walkthrough, so bear with me as I get used to things, and hopefully I can get things running as smoothly as possible, as quickly as I possibly can. Um, in regards to Zelda itself, I am not an experienced Zelda player. I'm not actually even, I'm, I'm fairly new to the series as a whole. Um, but I do know Ocarina of Time, at least the uh, regular game, not Master's Quest, like the back of my hand. So I will be covering this as close to 100% as I can. And so yeah, this is kind of like a completely new experience for me. So I've talked to yours off enough. Without further ado, let us begin.
Go away, Mom. I'm sleeping. Oh, true. Oh, fine. I'm getting up. Why, hello there. Navi the fairy. Uh huh. Whoa, the great Deku tree has summoned me. Whoa. Um. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Okay then, I best be off. Welcome to Kokiri Forest. Um. Throughout the course of this walkthrough, I apologize because it wouldn't be right if I had no idea how to pronounce anything. Um, I am horrible with names, that is a known fact. Um, so any mispronunciations of any names, just ignore me. Let me call things the way I want to. So hello there, Saria, how are you doing? It is quite an honor, blah blah blah. Okay, welcome to the Kokiri Forest. There is like a million things that need explaining in a Zelda game and I don't know where to begin. So let's just begin with moving forward and I will explain as I go. Um, Mr. No Fairy, well shut up, the Deku Tree summoned me. You know what? You really are annoying. I don't like you, and I just met you. Um, anyways, you need a sword and a shield. So, uh, some basics. Your bottom screen. You have your gear, your map, your items. You can talk to Navi. She's annoying. Really annoying. And I'll probably call her Navy a million times throughout this walkthrough, because that's how I'm used to calling her. Um, you have your rupees, your equipment. Of course, you have no equipment. The map, gear, items. Start and select save. B will eventually be your sword, which we can go grab now. Um, one thing that is really cool, uh, if this is for the 3DS version only, anything that involves viewing and aiming, you can aim directly by moving your DS around. Really cool. Uh, this guide in general, it can be applied to any version of um, uh, Ocarina of Time. Uh, there is two older versions of this game. It is obviously a remake if you weren't aware of that. Um, so, if you are playing an older version of the game for whatever reason, this guide should still work for it. I haven't played older versions of the game. As I said, I am still kind of new to the series as a whole. Um, but anyways, I mean, you should be able to get around just fine with this guide. Um, anyway, let's get the sword. Uh, the boulder can hurt you, so don't let it hit you. Walking through grass in various locations picks up rupees, and you might as well start grabbing a few of them, because you need at least 40 of them to get the shield. This is the sword itself, so that's one object out of two that we need. The Kokiri sword is so awful, and oh my goodness, I hate being a kid. Uh, make sure you equip it with gear. Um... I kind of forgot to do that. <laughs> That'd be bad if I didn't have a sword. Although it is apparently possible to do a no sword run of this game. Uh, my friend Tainer and Amir, you probably are familiar with both of them from past walkthroughs, they have attempted a no sword run, and I don't think they've actually been successful in it yet. But that's like something I would do. Like, I'm the crazy lunatic who... <laughs> is stupid enough to play like Castlevania Order of Ecclesia on level 1 hard mode. So, um, if you feel whatever need uh, to play this game without your sword, it is actually possible except for the one time in the entire game you need it. Um, that's kind of obvious and you would know what that point is when you get to it. Um, anyways, 40 rupees! Probably the next thing we need to pick up. Um, Rupees can be gathered pretty much anywhere throughout this town in like a million different locations. You can actually backflip at the training center. Um, that's one place you can get them. Feel free to always talk around the town. I'm not going to really talk around because nobody in this town really says that much of interest. 
Um, but if you feel the need to do so, go ahead. Um, rupees in general, I don't know. I never can, like, after the beginning of the game, I mean, rupees have their use, and it is the currency of this world. But, I mean, you don't really need them that much. It's not necessarily that you need them, it's just you'll get all the rupees you need just by walking around. So, um, once you have 40 rupees, you can get them everywhere. I mean, I'm already up to 33, and I just started wandering around the town. Um, gosh, there's so many things to say, and I have no idea where to begin. <laughs> Um, anyways, the beginning of the game is a really good point to get used to the controls. Um, I haven't mentioned this yet, um, but this is a very strange, uh, position I film in. And for something like Pokemon, it works really well. But when I was playing, like, Mario 64 a few years back, that game was horrendous to play at the angle I play. And this game, likewise, is going to be a nightmare to film. So I am probably going to screw up a lot in combat. Um, just because L and R buttons are very important. And I can't even really access them. So, <laughs> this is... You, you can laugh at my horrible playing skills. No, it's not me. It's just the fact that it is really difficult for me to play this game at this angle. Um... Yes, you can L target to talk to people. So talk to people around the town. If you are new to Zelda, take this time to get used to the controls. I'm just going to assume that if you are playing this game, you have taken the time to at least get a basic concept of the controls before doing anything. Um, any other places you need to get rupees, running through grass, throwing rocks, pots in the houses. Uh, I think there's an area behind Mito's house. Uh, the islands that I jumped on, there's a tower you can get to the top of, just walk around. Eventually you will get 40 rupees and you should be good to go. Whenever you have your 40 rupees, we sell shields, but not swords. Fine then, be that way. The most expensive and useless purse is, well, okay, maybe not useless. But such a pain to make that purchase. Anyways, grab yourself a shield. Make sure you equip it. I mean, if you don't have that equipped, that's kind of a problem. R is your shield. Um, with that said, that's all you need. And then we can go see the Deku tree. So move it, Mito. <laughs> the Kokiri sword? Good grief. What is this? A Charlie Brown comic strip or something oh good grief he'll walk out of the way and prepare yourself for combats <laughs> oh my goodness uh, these are the first enemies in the game they drop Deku sticks there is nothing threatening about them at all they're basically just withered Deku bot bad 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 withered Deku babas they do about a fourth of a heart's damage with contact, and that's really the only damage they can do. Um, my recommendation, pick up some Deku Sticks. Deku Sticks are actually supposedly pretty good for attacking. Great Deku Tree, I'm back. I'm probably going to want to beat Navi with a stick by the end of his walkthrough. Not just any stick, a Deku Stick. Link, welcome to my castle. Oh wait, that's the wrong game. Never mind. Okay, so evil blah blah blah. You have been cursed. What does any of this have to do with me? <sighs> Fine, sure, why not? I have nothing better to do. This forest is pretty dull anyway. Whoa, I always wanted to enter a tree like that. That is pretty awesome. Well, whenever you are ready, we can enter. And then next time we can take on the Great Deku Tree. Thank you and good night.